Hey guys, so today I decided I was going to film um, like a vlog for you guys. So I'm just showing up this Thrive Market all-purpose cleaner. I was cleaning the kitchen and I decided just on a whim that I was going to go ahead and vlog uh, this day. So yeah, I'm going to speed this up so you guys can see me cleaning my kitchen. Okay guys, in here I broke out the Bissell Crosswave and I'm going to go ahead and clean up the floor here. Um, I, at one moment I think I forgot what I was doing. And then this is my favorite coffee cup. I got it from Five Below. I'm having coffee this morning. Anyway guys, I'm going to speed this up again so you guys don't have to watch forever clean. keep the air fryer and it gets pretty dirty over here because we use the air fryer quite a bit so um yeah this always needs to be cleaned always you're silly no you're silly <laughs> does anybody know how to clean upholstery because kids it's gross i have some woolite but it doesn't really work that well this one's not quite as bad but children <laughs> yeah shoes probably shoes probably would be okay but let's go no come on it's fine so Jackson, what are we doing? We're bringing the, the food down to the turtles. Bringing some food down to the turtles. So this is what we do with our scrap fruit and vegetables, like our peels and things like that. <clears throat> What's the matter, Jackson? <clears throat> Pine needles and stuff. The ground's a little wet too, so. All right, go ahead and toss it over there. So we always dump it in the same spot. Um, the squirrels and the turtles like to come up here. The turtles actually have created their own little path here from the water up the hill to get the food. You know, I don't know if the squirrels are going to eat those oranges unless we bust them open, but it's fine. I'm not, I'm not climbing in there to bust them open. So, this, uh, cuts down on, that? that's an old orange. <laughs> I know, it got hard. Just throw it? Yeah, just throw it over there. It's fine. Anyway, this cuts down on garbage, um, and it feeds the you know the animals and stuff that live in our yard and in our lake. That's an old cucumber that didn't get eaten, huh? And then just some 
peas that Jackson didn't eat. Is that all of it? Yep. Okay. Let's go down here for a second. Let's see if we can see any turtles. There's one way over there. It's hard to see though. Plus this. This is uncomfortable to stand in. It's uncomfortable by pine needles. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you're cold. Yeah, you needed pants. I told you you needed pants instead of shorts. Okay, guys, we're gonna walk back up to the house now. Okay, guys, I'm actually, I'm out of breath. This is my kid's room. Look what he does to his bed. He literally uses this bed as a trampoline and messes it up. In fact, the mattress is like bent. It's so hard to tell uh, on video, but it's literally like sinks in the middle because he jumps on it all the time. Anyway, I'm going to straighten this room up, get him some clothes to wear for the day, and yeah, then we're going to head out to Harris Teeter. I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, we're getting ready to go to Harris Teeter. Jackson is riding his scooter, and if you hear the loud noise, that is my husband leaf blowing. He literally leaf blows like every day, sometimes twice a day. <laughs> Busy downtown. I guess it is Saturday. They started putting their Christmas stuff up downtown too. Yay. The Christmas tree, the like the light tree is up. They haven't lit it yet, but it's up at the circle. And don't worry, I'm cutting all this talking out of my video. I'm just going to put music in the video. <laughs> so you can talk and it's not going to, nobody's going to hear you. <laughs> Jackson, you're silly. the tree is up.
Hey guys, we are sitting at Harris Teeter waiting for them to bring us our groceries. Jackson and I went to the Dollar Tree and got some lollipops, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Because somebody had a dream about on the searching for lollipops, I think is what your dream was, right? Mm -hmm. And you found some dum dums and you really wanted some when you got up. So we went and found some at the Dollar Tree. Guys, I just filmed a Harris Teeter grocery haul. This does not belong here. This is my empty French fry container. I'm watching on some french fries left over from last night and some uh, pita and hummus. I'm going to put all this crap away now, you guys. Uh... Okay, guys, this is our refrigerator and freezer that we have in our laundry room. It's just extra. It's old. It's cruddy. It was on, like, Facebook Marketplace or something. And um, my husband, actually, it used to be in our garage uh, before we moved here. And, yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to show you how much food we actually have in our house. It is ridiculous, the amount of food that we have in our house. And I haven't even put, don't mind, everything is a mess right now. But I haven't even put all of the groceries away. Um... You guys, my freezer is packed. Don't mind this. My husband, for some reason, took one of my bags of peas and used it as a, like an ice pack um, for his knee. And yeah, so they're sitting in here like this and nobody's going to eat these now. Um, but it is now his makeshift ice pack. Um, and then there's a bunch of stuff in the door as well. Just, yes, all kinds of food in here. And then the refrigerator don't mind the the beer <laughs> there's just food everywhere you guys um yeah we need to we need to eat what we got we've been you know like certain things like the yogurt will go through really quickly like the lunchables we go through quick the sausages we usually go through pretty quickly but there's a lot of stuff in here that like the oat milk we'll use pretty quick too but there's a lot of stuff that we don't use every day and it just it's packed, you guys. And this is just the extra freezer and fridge. All right, guys. Here I'm using the dinosaur kale trick that I um, learned from Kim over at the Wads. All right, guys. I don't know if you can hear me. It's a little breezy out. There's a bunch of turtles that were just over here in our yard. Uh, we kind of scared them away. <laughs> they might pop up here in the water in a minute, but we're taking some more scraps out to... Uh, to feed them and the squirrels and stuff like that because we just washed up all that kale. So we got a bunch of kale stems and stuff to bring out in here. Can I throw the entire yeah, just dump, dump the whole thing. Make sure you get it in the woods there. There you go. Anyway, so we're going to walk down here. Look, we scared some more turtles away. They hide in these uh, stumps and things. You can hear them kind of splash in the water. You probably can't hear them, but we can hear them. Me too. Did you hear? Oh, look. See, there's some right there swimming. Oh, I don't... you have to watch out for these things. Yeah, do you see the turtles? There's like three of them right there. Do you see them? I see one. I see two. I see both of them. Three. Three. There's three of them. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see them on the video, but... Be, but be careful for these things. There's these a big one out spiky. there, too. There's spike plants. Yeah, those are big and spiky, aren't they? So we, yeah. we watch where we're walking when we come out here. Um, they can be very painful. <laughs> they can, can't they? So we try to keep things a little natural out here for the animals that like to come and visit. A lot of our neighbors have, you know, I mean, we've got really nice landscaping and stuff like that too. Jackson's, he's leaving me. Um, but we like to keep some of this, you know, stuff looking a little natural for the animals. Um, the turtles that live in this lake, most of them are yellow-bellied sliders um, from what we've seen and learned about and uh, heard from neighbors and things like that and then there's also some snapping turtles in here um, the really good thing is there is no alligators in here because we do live where there are alligators uh, around here but there's no alligators uh, currently in our lake and I don't think I don't think anybody um, has ever mentioned an alligator ever coming or you know being in the lake so that's good uh, there is also freshwater clams that live in here so we found some shells here and there, but um, 
no uh, actual clams. Um, I think, I don't know what's eating them. There's a ton of fish in here too. I don't know what kind of fish they are, but some of them are huge. In fact, I don't really want to scare these turtles away um, out into the water any further than I already have because I like it when they come up in the yard. Um, but I would go down and show you guys a little closer to the water. There's always little tiny fish swimming around in there. So there's tons of little fish and I know that those big old giant fish are in here too eating those little fish. So, but anyway, and then here's the house from the back. I know if you've been around for a while, you guys have seen the house already, but, um, yeah, just show you guys the lake a little bit walk over here and see if I got any surprise flowers. There's always like surprises popping up in our yard. We've been here since January and there's a lot of landscaping here that's established already. Um, I think whoever ooh, somebody's uh, somebody's cool with their car over there. Anyway uh, whoever lived here before um, did a really good job with the landscaping and stuff. So I just realized the neighbor's bushes have little red berries on them um there's always surprises popping up though so since we've been here since january we're coming up in the winter months again um so i think maybe we have seen most of the surprises now but you know every once in a while i'm like oh my gosh there's like um, it's really windy now so i hope you guys can hear me um <laughs> but anyway every once in a while there's like i look and i'm like there's a new flower and i'm like oh where did that come from what on earth is that? I don't even I don't even know what this is. I don't want to touch it. I'm gonna leave it alone. If anybody knows what this is, is it like some sort of fungus? Let me know down in the comments. Um there's not a whole lot coming up. These things are attack plants. I don't really remember what they're called, like yucca or something like that. Um they're everywhere in here and they they grow really pretty flowers in the summertime, but they have sharp, needle sharp points on the ends of every single one of these. And uh, they attack me every time I come over here. So this is actually an oleander uh, tree that I got for my birthday. My brother and my sister-in-law had gotten me two of these. So we planted one here and it's still blooming. It is still going strong over here. I apologize for the wind. Um, this is a, uh, oh gosh, what is this called? A Camilla? Camilla? I think that's what it's called. This has got weird little berries on it too. I don't know what this is. It had flowers on it at one point. Um, and now it has berries on it, so. Oh, that's nice. Anyway, and then, um, there's a rose bush in here as well. The roses have all died. These ones are really bright pink. And then there's a yellow rose um, kind of on the other side. Oh, and I always thought this was cool. This little spot in this tree here. It looks like a heart, you guys. I don't know if it was meant to look like that. I, like, I don't know if somebody put that there, but I think it looks like a heart. Um, it's so cool. This tree is like huge and it's old. Our neighbor actually asked us if we wanted to cut it down because I think the leaves blow in his yard, but um, I don't really want to cut it down. Here's the other oleander tree. This one doesn't have any flowers on it right now. Um, I don't know what these big pods are on it, but anyway, there's that. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and head back inside. All right, and here I am just changing out our windsock. I put the Halloween one up. It's time for it to come down. I'm gonna put our flag one back up. Um, I need a new flag and I'm making faces at the camera. Don't ask me why, that's, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we definitely need a new flag um, windsock. This one has gotten really faded over the years uh, from being out in the sun and here I am precariously balancing on our step stool to try to get it to hang up and then I got it to hang up and then I thought for some reason I thought it was like hanging lower than it normally did but it's not it's normal it's the way that it always has been anyway okay guys so now I'm in the bathroom I'm getting ready to clean the bathroom um, I'm gonna clean the tub over here you guys it is filthy filthy 
Um, and then I also need to clean the shower, which is also, uh, I wouldn't say it's filthy, but it's pretty, yeah. Um, oh, what was that? Anyway, guys, so, yes, I'm going to clean. This is a cleaner that I'm using. It's seventh generation disinfecting bathroom cleaner. Um, so I've got a little bit of this left. And then I also have this Art of Green um, touch, tough, touch, tough on dirt, grease and grime. Um, it says no harsh chemicals. It's lavender eucalyptus. It's pretty strong smelling. Um, so I'm going to try to use this up before I move to that. Because um, this, I like the way this one smells and it doesn't, it's not as strong. So anyway. We're going to get moving here. Shut the door. Guys, I am taking a break. I think I'm done for the day, honestly. Other than dinner, I really think I'm done. I've done a whole lot. There's a few things that I did this morning that I didn't video. I vacuumed the, the whole entire house. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. I've actually got the little fireplace on over here. I don't have the heat blowing, but I got the picture on it. I'm about to turn the TV on, probably watch a movie. And I am having some hot chocolate or hot cocoa. I love this cup. I got it from Five Below. It's my favorite uh, coffee mug. So yeah, other than dinner, um, which I will put in here, I think I'm done for the day, you guys. All right, guys, so I am making some vegan Alfredo. I'm using Beyond Sausage. I'm gonna fry this up in a pan and then I am going to cut up some broccoli. And yes, we use the stalks as well. I don't like to waste uh, too much of this. It's good for you. Um, I'm also using mushrooms and uh, red peppers. So I'm going to slice all of this stuff up and then I'm going to get it in a pan uh, to saute. I actually, I'm sauteing the, the um, sausage first and then I am going to drain that and put it in a bowl. And then you just use, um, saute the mushrooms and peppers together. And then you can put onions in this as well. I did not. I just used onion powder, which you'll see at some point. And okay, so here I am. I've got my pasta in to boil with the broccoli and then my peppers and onions. I'm sorry, peppers and mushrooms with vegan butter in here. I got four tablespoons of vegan butter and I'm going to go ahead and put uh, four tablespoons of flour in here and kind of create a roux once this butter is melted down. Guys, so here I am putting the four tablespoons of flour in here. I am going to stir this up and create a roux. And then I am going to let it kind of cook for a, a minute or two just so it uh, cooks out that flour taste. And then I am going to start adding in um, oat milk. So I'm using the Chobani uh, Plain Extra Creamy Oat Milk. Uh, but you can use any non-dairy uh, milk that you like or want to use. All right, guys, so now I'm going to put in, um, I don't know how much I use here, like a teaspoon of onion powder. And then I'm going to also add in some salt and pepper to this. And I'm going to stir it up before I put the oat milk in. All right, guys, so now I'm just going to start drizzling in the oat milk. I'm going to go really slow at first because um, if you dump it all in, you can sometimes whisk out the clumps. But I find it's easier to do it this way. Um, you don't end up with quite so many clumps. You don't have to work quite as hard to get the clumps out um, because nobody wants lumpy, uh, <laughs> nobody wants lumpy sauce or lumpy gravy. So you see how the flour just soaks up all of that uh, milk. So I, I couldn't tell you. I apologize for the noise too. I couldn't tell you how much oat milk I actually put in here. I'm just putting in and stirring until I get the consistency that I want.
Okay, guys, now I'm going to add in some of this better than bouillon. This is the garlic uh, base one. I really like this one. It adds a lot of flavor to anything, really. Um, again, I couldn't really tell you. I'm not measuring, so I probably used maybe a tablespoon and a half in this whole um, pot. And this is pretty salty, so um, just beware of that when you are um, using it. Um, but I love this stuff. I, I love this one, and I love the vegetable uh, base one as well. And the sauce is actually thickened up really well. Um, and in a minute, you're going to see when I put the broccoli and the pasta into this dish or into this pot, I'm going to transfer it over to this pot. Um, I am going to not drain um, at first. I'm not going to drain all of the water out because that water is going to help kind of um, thin out the sauce a little bit and kind of make it stretch. And it's also going to help with the salty level of that garlic base. Okay guys, and as you can see, I'm getting out the colander here, so I'm going to drain the rest of the broccoli and pasta because I don't want all of that liquid in the sauce um, because that would make it entirely too watery and too thin. Um, so I'm going to drain that out and get the rest of the pasta and broccoli into the dish. Okay guys, so I'm going to stir this up. I'm going to put the sausage back in at the last minute. If I put it in too soon, a lot of that grease is going to come back out into the dish and make the dish greasy, and we don't want greasy pasta. So... That is it actually for this dish. It turned out really, really well. I did add a little bit of extra pepper and I topped mine off with some nutritional yeast. Okay guys, I'm ending this video here. I did end the day with some chocolate chip cookies that Jackson helped me make. That is it you guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.